So after back-to-back -back time trials, team time trial today in Paranese, time trial yesterday in Terreno Adjagatico, it's time to look at some bike tech. There's some low-res footage, but I've got to show you what I actually want to talk about. And no, it's not helmets. Helmets don't interest me. They've been, they'll get banned. The UCI are already on it. What I want to talk about is how embarrassing Shimano must be, or embarrassed they must be, that people are using digirit chain rings and other single ring chain rings because Shimano don't make one. So you can see this is Bahrain. First time I've seen them use the digirit chain ring. Maybe I've missed it before. Sad that they didn't take the valve, it looks like. But anyway, digirit chain rings, Ineos used them, obviously. 64 tooths, uh, I think we saw in... Oh no, 68 tooth maybe it was uh, in the UAE tour. But anyway, what it goes to show is that there's a demand for a one by that Shimano are not specifying. Maybe that's why SRAM's getting more popular. People can do it uh, above board and not have to mess around with digirit chain rings. I don't know why they don't. So we're just going to go through an example of some of the teams. Obviously, nice TT setup from Bahrain. They're always quick. Ineos, digirit chain rings, you can see here. They all run a chain catcher, I think, because they just realized like half a watt penalty of chain catcher is probably worth it because it flies off. It's really bad. But yeah, all of them chain catcher. Obviously, I can talk more about how they're all real uh, high hands, super, super narrow. And that seems to be, you know, everyone's basically got, I wouldn't say the same position, but more or less the same. We now look at Remco Evenepoel's bike. Has a DI2 front mech, but you can see here there's no inner chain ring at all. Just one chain ring. So he does have a chain catcher as well. So he's really making sure the chain doesn't come off. But again, it's like goes to show even the world champion time trial is not happy with the Shimano equipment because he doesn't use standard Shimano stuff. UAE, uh, I believe they use carbon TI chain rings for single ring, but I'm not 100% sure. It could be digirit. But all I do know is that they do run single ring chain rings again. And finally, we also have Jayco here as well using single ring chain rings. The way you can always tell is because there's not the front mech. I know these photos are really bad. It's because I'm screenshotting them on Instagram because no one really took good pictures. But what I think it goes to show is that Shimano needs to grow up they need to realize that one by is here to stay and that actually one by makes sense for like quite a lot of purposes except road racing. So like traditional road racing stages where they're hilly, but like a flat road race, obviously a one by makes sense and a hill climb, a one by makes sense and a time trial one by makes sense. So I really think they need to grow up significantly, realize that this is a demand and make single chain rings. SRAM have done this for a very, very, very long time. SRAM Axis came out in 2019. It's now 2024 and Shimano riders still have to use aftermarket stuff with a derailleur that's not clutch, not orbit damping, doesn't do any stuff. And I just don't understand why no one at Shimano thinks that this is any kind of issue. And R9200, 9200, sorry, did not come with it. Maybe R9300 will, but yeah, it's something they need to sort out. They need to, in my opinion, put narrow wide chain ring on, make sure the mech can handle it. Maybe have a special chain catcher that they think that's really arrow. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, Shimano needs to up their game because all these pro teams using other stuff is is pretty funny. And goes to show Shimano maybe isn't the highest end performance manufacturer we used to think it is. And actually they're falling behind on innovation compared to people like SRAM.